Hey guys, my name is Zeniac and welcome back to another episode of Sim Casino where your boy is continuing from where we last left off in the last episode which pretty much what we do every episode we kind of continue where we last left off but boy oh boy did we create something freaking amazing um kind of no longer have to worry about money guys i got nearly three million in the bank <laughs> we need some serious expansion now if you didn't see last episode as your boy is slowly trying to build his dream casino right now um so many slot machines so many slot machines right now it's kind of crazy we also set up our little main entrance and configured how we wanted this little middle section here to lead to the second floor now, we've got a couple of bars down. I did add in these little rooms, which I think will be quite good. Turns out, they're not good enough. <laughs> they're not legit good enough. Um, I'm probably going to move the cash vault somewhere else. We kind of had to kind of build the storage room over here because we didn't have enough shelving in that tiny room that we originally had. Someone in the comment section said, Yo, Seniac, why don't you get rid of this? And I might put the research office in replace of the cash vault here and then turn this into a male toilet and this one into a female toilet. Just a, like an additional way to kind of utilize those little spaces because at the minute, people are waiting and queuing to get into the toilets right now. There is so many people using them. I feel like I'm going to need so much more. Now, we're going to go on Expansion Crazy again. we got the poker tables down, the roulette tables. We've got a couple of blackjack tables. Uh, we're going to use expansions pushing back. But I want to get set up today the, the food court, the buffet area, which I'm actually going to build it on the second floor. So we can slowly start progressing and going in those ways uh, to lean up. I'm going to push the casino back as well a bit more. And I want to save a little space because I want to build like a big theater at some point. But obviously I want to spread it over multiple floors, which I think will be really, really cool. Now, as always, guys, if you do enjoy this, then please make sure you smash that like button down below if you are new in here then make sure you do subscribe so you're notified that next episode does come out but damn is your boy going expansion crazy today now i've got to figure out how i want to do it okay i got to figure out how i want to do the upstairs bit because i want kind of certain areas to kind of um be open so you can look completely down now i will say this right now there's been an update since the last episode. I feel like the developers are popping out the updates right now. But I will be honest with you. I've loved every single update. I'm not a fan of this one. It's a very UI based update. They've changed everything down below. I don't know whether because I haven't got used to it yet. I don't know. And when you go build mode, it's kind of like slightly opaque behind the stuff. It like, kind of looks weird. Uh, like, I don't know if I like it or, or, or not yet. I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to remove the floor. Can I remove the floor here? How do I remove parts of these floors? Have I got to uh, dismantle structure? No. Is it foundation? Dismantle walls and floor. Oh, is it this one? No, that's walls. Wait. Dismantle walls and fences. No, it's not that one. Remove. No. Um. Ha ha ha. Oh, wait, hold on. Is it flooring? No, not flooring. There is something that you can do to do it right. Am I just that foolish? I remember doing it. Uh, oh, hold on. I've got to build a uh, foundation, right? No? No? How do I do this? Demolish structure? No. Guys, am I just so foolish or something? Why can't... How did I build on the second floor before? Oh, wait. No, it is like that. Why can't I do it right to there? Um, blocked by escalator. Oh, snap. Is that what it is? The escalator? No, it can't be. Guys, I'm so confused. What is going on? Escalators are here. Which means we should be having escalators popping up here. How is this meant to work? Foundation. I can drop a foundation here like that. Oh, is it because... No, it can't... Wait, what is going on? What is going on? Right, do you know what I'm going to do, boys? It's the escalators that are causing us issues slightly. I think what we'll do is I'll delete them. So, remove flooring objects. I'll get rid of them. Right, we'll get them back in. Just for the sake of this working. I didn't think it would be this foolish to try and get done. I didn't think it would be this foolish. Right, if I kind of now 
continue the movement. So if that came over to there, just so I can understand how far we've taken this, and then bring this all the way up and over, a bit further back. I'll take it right to the end of what we currently got set up. So I, I can fully understand how much room I've got to play around with. And I know those kind of stick out there. I get it. I freaking get it. Right, so for future builds, i got to remember, Seniac, build the second floor before you put the escalators or the lifts down. That's what we got to remember. So let me try this again. So it's set... Wait, hold on. Hold on. i got to get the positioning just right. So do them there. Them there. Rotati. Boom, 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 boom. And then this next floor... Ha-ha! Success. Right. So then, if I do... Is it now demolished the structure? Is that it? That's not it. Remove the flooring. Ha! Yes! Okay, we finally figured it... It took me how long to figure it out, boys? So I wanted to remove... This section here. Because it's kind of cool to kind of look down and look over. But I feel like I want to push it a little bit further too. Now, if I go down the floor... That is where the lifts appear, right here, the elevators. So let me rotate you, drop you there, bam and bam. So you can see down the elevator shaft right now, where they are. So once these are in place, I then get, an, again, a, an idea of where I can remove all this flooring. So down below, so I can go right up to the edge of here. And if I push it back by a bit more... Two, yeah, that's one, two, three, four, five, and then six and seven already for the other two. So that'll be eight, nine, ten. Push it down to there, and it just kind of gives you that kind of uh, you know that ability to kind of look over and look down. I mean, they're really not looking on onto anything at the minute because <laughs> we really haven't placed anything down at the moment. But it does give us that option. Now, what if I did over here? So we've already done two. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I might as well go the full eleven. So they can kind of look all the way over and down, which is pretty nice. Move that over to here. That to there. So this has got more going on than that side. But I might again push this further back. So if I push that a bit more, just so we can kind of like see what's going down. And, right, we'll keep it like that, because that could potentially be a walkway, like how this is a walkway right now. Because I might have some more escalators or something going further down. So, with that set up then, we can build a fence going around it. So, fence tool. What type of fence is it? Does that look right? Does it feel right? That fence? There's no other type of fences I get to use, is there? Like, this is the only fence I get, like a little banister of many ways. I mean, I could change the color, but I'll keep it. Oh, I'll keep it simple. Keep it real simple. There we go. Do it on this side, straight to the edge. It'd be nice if we could have like a like a glass banister, a glass kind of wall, a glass small little glass fence. That'd be so cool. And oh, and <laughs> very important. Get them here. So it just allows us, then, like I said. To kind of add that like visual effect where they can kind of look down on the area and everything else is surrounded around it. And then I feel like building the food court around this this kind of section. So they're eating and looking down. That makes sense? So with that logic, I do kind of need to push this further back with the older foundations. So should I just take it all the way back? So it's it's 75 across, right? Yeah. As far back as I, I pretty much would allow myself to go. That is quite some distance. <laughs> I will say that right now. The property tax on this building is going to go through the roof of the amount of now like square footage I have now claimed. So go back up. Same again. Now it's got to be big because eventually we're going to have the hotel within this section too. I really don't like that fence. I'm going to be honest with you right now. I don't like it. I, hang on, i got to double check. Am I sure there's nothing else? Structure-wise? Is that the best they're going to give me? 
uh, fence. You can't like pick like a different style, can you? No. Hmm. Yeah, you, there's nothing else you can really do about it, is there? So we kind of have to rock and roll with that for the most part. <sighs> it's annoying, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do anyway? So we've got that set up then. So at least when you're eating your food, you can kind of glance over. Let's go to the flooring and let's kind of set up now then some type of pattern. So let's do this. As soon as you come off the uh, the the escalator, we'll do that. I kind of put like a little bit of a gold beading going around it, which will be quite nice. So push this up a bit more too. Right, how did I do the the beading around the escalators down here? They're on the other. S Am I missing one? Am I low key missing one? How has that happened? <laughs> Sad, yeah. I Right, hold on. Uh, go down the floor, boy. Right, is that now working? No. Why are you not working? Alright, remove... Uh, where's the remove objects? There we go. Is it there still? No. What is going on with this one? Right, bam there. Straight up, there we go. Okay, the audio ones are fine, right? Yeah. I don't know what was going down. But how did I do it anyway? So I think there is not really anything around it, is there? No. So I think we can kind of get away with whatever we choose to do. So, right. This is the next part as well. Now, for the food area, I think what I'll do here is I'm just going to push this right up to the edge until I figure out what kind of design patterns we're going for around it. Do I do the food area a different flooring pattern? Try and break away from what we're kind of creating right now? Or should I keep it very similar? I don't 100% yet know what I'm going to do. Bring that gold pattern down right now, the gold marble. So bring that to there. I think what I'll do, I'll use the same type of pattern that we've been doing so far. And then I might change it as time goes on. We'll just kind of use it so I can work out how it's going to play out. So we do need um, like the building for the, 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 the restaurant, the kitchen area. We do need that. Now, should we treat it as we're going to have a little walkway going down? I can maybe do like a, a kitchen building there and then one on this side maybe. Hmm. Uh, or I could have one centralized maybe here that serves the whole little area. And then we have like separate rooms on each side there. That could be a thing. Do we get a... Uh, yeah, we do get a size there. What is the size from here to here? It is uh, 26. So if I went and did a... Hang on, what's the size down to there? 27 so we do okay so i go 27 okay if i do 27 and if i bring it up by 10 right hold on auto saves kicking in come on auto save i got stuff to do people to see places to be right and then if i build then this going around here and to there so what was that again? That was a 11 to that point. So if I use this to be an 11 as well, bringing that down to here, it can kind of go around. So we've got a walkway. We can have some seating in this little section. So if I do 11 here, straight down to there, I'm just still trying to work it out in my head. Okay, hold on. Then if I come down by 20, down by 20, straight across, and then with the normal granite floor in here, cover the whole little section up. Oh, I missed that line. What am I doing? But I think I'm going to do a little pattern just here by the escalator. Uh, the elevator, sorry. So if I came out like this. Just to there. And then to here. To kind of signal on the flooring pattern. 
you know, that's like a, a little inverse section. Uh, granted, I probably won't keep these flooring patterns. I probably will change them. Now, I could use this to also create a border going around the edge as well, which I think is looking pretty nice. So what we've done and what we've now created is this U shape here is going to be soling or so, uh, solely all the seating area for our little buffet section. So you're reading around on the second floor. You can look down and see people walking past and join their thing and whatnot. And then there's going to be rooms and stuff either side uh, for stuff to pretty much happen. It's kind of how it's going to go down. What I also could do then is get rid of maybe this. Or do I keep that in? As being part of it. Now nah, we'll, we'll leave it like that. I'll leave it like that. Oh, actually, do you know what I could do? Bring that straight down there. Yeah. Might as well just go all the way across here and here. Uh, we'll see what happens. It might grow on me. I might dislike it. I don't 100% know just yet. So let's sort out the seating area first then. So we've got the buffet zone, which uh, requires um, a cash register, food drink dispenser. So it requires the, it's the seating section, but it also requires me to build and place down all of the buffet stuff, like the foods, uh, um, drinks and beer dispensers and the food buffet. So if I bring it to there, bring that up to there, bring this over to here. Nice. <clears throat> Right, this is looking good already. So, I, I, ooh, I could also maybe kind of try and double up on it. So where we do have the buffet kind of area here, maybe I could utilize that little section here and down here as being all the food dispensers and trying to build a kitchen off that. Right, let me see how far down this would go. Because this is now, this is a big shout to try and do this. So I'm kind of creating everything based off floors. So there's a free gap. One, two, three, there. All the way up to here and into there. Okay. Oh, no. This could be... I mean, it could work. At the same time, it could not. But just bear with me a second. So we did that to there. So technically, I could create two kitchens. I could also potentially... Split the buffet down the middle and have two separate buffets because I think you have one kitchen per buffet area if, if I'm if I'm correct I think so. So let's hide. Hang on. Did I do any rooms down here? I did and I've put the border kind of around them if I was to do it. Yeah So what I want to do here then is bring a wall down to here and a wall in a length of 15 and then straight across. So do the exact same thing on this side. Down to there. A wall of 15. There we go. And then straight across. And they become our two kitchen areas. So if I zone these now, these kitchen areas. Bam and bam. Now, is it right in me saying we assign it to here? Assign to, oh hang on, assign, assign to, can I not do it? I don't think you can, not the way I'm trying to do it myself, so what I can do, it just enables me to create two separate buffets and just mirror image it. So if I then went and did, 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 did the D zone tool here, that across is 25. So there really isn't going to be. No, there actually is. There is going to be a central section. Oh, sweet. Okay. So let me try that again then. So this buffet goes to there. This one assigned to there. So that kitchen's for this one. That kitchen's for this one. And also what I need to do as well, which, again, I can't forget, is the buffet zone technically also gets zoned over here. So I can put down all the um, the food dispensers and stuff on, on this little section. Ooh, this is good. I'm loving it. I'm freaking loving it right now. 
Right, I'm getting too carried away, too excited. <sighs> so, cash register, we can have at the very beginning here, as, um, bam, as they enter in. So two cash registers there. I don't know if that's going to be enough, or I might need more. But as they come from this little section, they're going to be walking down this way first anyway. But there we go. If they become a little bit overwhelmed, then we'll add in some more. But I don't know. I don't know. So, in terms of dispensers then. Um, steak buffet. So if I start it over here then. Steak buffet goes this way, right? So one, two, three. Seafood buffet. One, two, three. Okay. Then we have the dessert buffet. One, two, three. Nice. So then on this side, we'll do a beer, beer dispenser. So if I went... Hang on, what else we got to do? A beer dispenser and then just a, a drinks dispenser. So one, two. Drinks dispenser needs to go on a table, doesn't it? Yeah. They should have provided me with a freaking table. Where the table's at, boy? Where my table's at? Um, That's a point. Where do I find tables? Uh, no. So, do I have to use one of these? Kitchen prep? No, you can't even use a kitchen prep table. What do they expect me to put the drinks machine on? Well, place free there anyway. So there we go. I can maybe even get away putting some tables and chairs here. But it, again, it depends on how busy the, uh, the food buffet is. Oh, actually, I kind of want to change my mind. Right, hold on. If I move this and let me just let me humor myself again. If I did it like that, I could create these little areas. Hang on, if I put that there, let me move this one more time. If that went there, that means that then the third one, oh, the third one will go there. Oh, this is gonna be a really expensive buffet. Mm, oh, I was hoping I can put them back to back, but it doesn't really work like that. Unless I did it like this. But then do you kind of lose what I'm trying to create? Uh, beer dispenser. Yeah, you do kind of lose what I'm trying to create. Or does that look kind of better? Well, let me see with the seafood buffet. Right, I also need to work out the spacing. So if one went there, there. So that's one, two, three, four. So I can do, oh, we need to do dessert buffet as well. Hmm. So I could do steak, seafood, dessert, or two steaks, one seafood, one dessert. Hmm. The decisions right now. Who would have thought this would have been kind of a, a difficult decision to make? <laughs> nah, me. Um. Right, let me remove these objects anyway. And I'll remove these as well. Remove all of them. So back to the seafood then. So seafood, seafood... Seafood, seafood. Um, oh, it's a tough one, isn't it, man? Unless I then did the dessert buffet like this, because technically you got to think that they're they're both food. Then we have a dessert one. So if I started the dessert here, 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 and here, so dessert went like this, and then the drinks one went over on this side. So I just get a load of drink dispensers down on this side here to go the full distance of that because I expect them to be a lot of drinks being used. And then the, the beer dispenser on this side. So if I start there, one, two, three, four. Four beer dispensers. Hopefully that's okay. I mean, I could technically as well move these over by one. Like that. 
yeah, I think that's going to be my design. That is going to be your boy's design. Now, it's a little bit more difficult to try and replicate this on the opposite side, because I can't just simply clone it. Because it's, um, it's a mirror image. But don't worry about that just now. Don't worry about it just, just now. So, dining tables. <clears throat> um, I got the choice of doing a four or a two. So, I think we'll do the twos on here. Like that. And where can I get the fours in? So, if I started the fours, let's say here. If I did one there, ah, I can do it there and there. And I think I'll end it to there. I mean, well, I say end it to there. I'll bring it all the way down here anyway. All right, that's as far as I take the fours. And then just do more twos in here. So what is the space and I've got between... Oh, I'm all over the place. Right there to there. And I could do one sideways if needs be. Now the great thing is, until I see what demands we have, I could potentially expand it this way as well. But it all depends on what kind of demands that we do get from it. So that's what we're going to do for that. That's, that's how it's going to pretty much work. <sighs> well, I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it is. Uh, let's do the kitchen area then. So sinks have got to go next to a wall. These can go anywhere. These can go anywhere. These can go anywhere. These can go anywhere. Sweet. So, let's start with the sinks. We'll put the sinks on this wall here. So one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll do four. Four sinks. Okay, and then we'll do the kitchen cookers. Uh, or do I go the hot plate? Can I do back-to-back -back hot plates? Yeah. Back-to-back -back hot plates just there. So I can get a stove here. Stove there. It's all going wrong. I gotta try and figure out a good little stove setup as well. So we do have a free there. Do we have anything that's the size of a free? I don't believe we do. But I can do a stove there, stove there, stove there, stove there. Which means I can then move said the hot plates here. Because they could, they could be like passed over and through. I don't know if that's how it works in real life, or I don't. I, know, I don't think that's how the game works, to be honest with you. But that's how it could work. Move it just to there. Is that as close as it is? Yeah. We have the the kitchen prep tables when autosave is freaking finished. Today, mate. So we can do some kitchen prep here. There we go. And then some refrigerators. Uh, oh, hang on. We also need stock shelves. I can run the stock shelves in the middle. That's no biggie. But we do need refrigerators. Refrigerators there. Throw in some stock shelves in the middle. I know it's all over the place and it looks slightly confusing, but it's the kitchen area. It doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> it doesn't it hasn't got to be efficient. As long as it's got everything in there, then we're pretty much good to go. So technically that is one buffet done. Right? That is one of the buffets technically done. So if I was to go to the staff side of things and then hire, for example, ooh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hire 10 chefs in the daytime, 10 chefs in the nighttime. Again, very excessive, very excessive, but it should be okay. So change your price point. I'll just keep it to $15. That's pretty much all I need to do. 
Uh, wait for the chefs to come in. <clears throat> There's a lull in there. Now, they don't have any food to cook just yet. So, raw ingredients, we'll put this to 10, because I know I'm going to get a secondary kitchen in anyway. Um, right, beer, I'll put it to 6, because we've got a beer dispenser. Soda, I'm going to put it to 5. Um, I think that might be it. I'm going to call in a vehicle right now. Call it in early. So we can get the uh, the buffet thing up and running. So wait for the workers to bring the goods in, the ingredients. And we should... Okay, the, okay, the, um, the chefs are going to get the ingredients. They're all now in. So are they now cooking? They're going to now slowly start cooking up a storm. We have no um, food in the buffet yet, but people are arriving. So are they going to start cooking? What's going on? Ah, there we go. Progress on the cook right now. There we go. So are they slowly filling it up? Yeah, they're slowly starting to get food in there. People are slowly arriving and getting a table. I don't know whether we're going to need another another one of these. Let me let me fast forward. I want to see what what. Then it's one a.m. in the af in in. Whoa! It's two a.m. in the morning, and this is the demand we've got right now for food. That kind of slightly worries me for peak time. We're probably going to need way more of these. Way more of them. Um, right, so technically that's our buffet there set up. I'll get rid of the overlay for the rooms in just a moment. Let's, um... Let's replicate this. So, build. And we're going to use the clone area. To there. So that should be a simple and easy clone just like that. Um, so if I went from up here right down to there, so we can also get into the, well, the position of those two. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot you can't clone when it's already there. All right, if I do that to there, is that too close or is that how it is? No, that's how it is, isn't it? Boom. Boom. Tables and chairs down for days right now. And if I just clone them. Oh, and gone. Something's going down. It's right to the edge. Wait, have I not gone over enough? One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three. <sighs> I thought there was something amiss. So that actually goes there. i got to redo that little section. Um, clone. No, actually, before I do. Right. Clone all of these, which it should be one off the edge, which would then technically go... Here, <laughs> I clone all of these. I'm just trying to get it as easy as possible. Which, how many away is it? I think it's two away there. Clone these bad boys, throw them there. I think that's where it goes, right? Not really, <laughs> it's slightly up by one. We'll fix it. So, the wall tool right now. Comes down to there. There's a little bit of extra wall sticking out there, which shouldn't be happening right now. So dismantle all that wall here. Why can't I dismantle the? Oh, it's not selected on dismantle wall. That's what it might be, Seniac. You damn folio. So marbles that goes down this way. The granite up to there. There we go. Right, buffet areas all sorted. Don't worry about that. Kitchen zone. There we go. Right, I do need to technically move these over. Only all down by one. And to be honest with you, it's easy enough to remove them and then place them back in. I mean, I got unlimited cash right now. Well, it feels like I've got unlimited cash. 
It really does feel like that. Bam. Sweet mate. So all i got to do then is place in the kitchen, which I will literally copy and paste this. Don't think I won't, because I will. <laughs> and then just make some minor adjustments. So before I had the door here on this side, which we're now going to dismantle that, which did run in line with this. So if we get rid of you, place a door there. And because I've kind of slightly switched it over a little bit, I'll replace that door on that side with a fridge here. Nice. Simple. Easy, mate. Easy. Which, we have so many workers in that kitchen right now. I wonder, should, I mean, I feel like 10 is probably what I need. So why don't I drop it down to then, oh, not 200. Oh, well, hold on. That's, that's serves uh, security guards. Uh, chefs. I'll put 20. Probably don't need 20. But it's better to have too many than not enough. I can afford to pay all their wages. Which is good by me. So let's now get rid of the um, environmental overlay, camera overlay, sector display. Oh, no, I don't want that. How do I get rid of the... Uh... We had this issue last time, didn't we? Oh, wasn't it Z? Yeah, it was the letter, it was the num letter Z. <laughs> so now we can see what is exactly going down. Flooring, granites. Get this pushing all the way down right now. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens at peak times when it comes to this area. I think what I'll do, I'll get rid of this to make a little kind of corner section. That all It all bleeds in pretty nice, don't you think? It all bleeds in pretty nice. And then we can overlook the stuff going on downstairs. We're now selling food, which will make people even more happy. So we're focusing on our guest happiness right now. This is great stuff. This is really great stuff. I've been thinking about these little sofas here as well, about getting rid of them. Because they just kind of stick out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we got some blackjack tables. Let me clone one and place it. Let me go bird's eye view. There. And there. Just to throw a little bit more additional on. But I will place some sofas down in general anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. Their benches. Nice little couch. Here. Make it white. Nice. Um, is there any room to place them around here? I'm thinking about it. I could do a nice little couch there and there. Let me go upper floor. Could do one here and here as they're chilling like strawberry villains. And I could do a nice little seating area around here. So I place one there and there as if it was like the waiting area. Oh, that needed to go up by one, didn't it? Yeah. All right, move that to there. And then can we get a nice little plant down? There we go. There we go. So it's, it becomes like a little seating area as they're waiting to be, you know, waiting for them to have a, or take a seat. Um, right, do we get the new chefs going to the second kitchen? Yes, we do. I wonder how they kind of... Um, how does it work with the chefs? Do they do they know how many people need to work in in a certain kitchen, or do they go where there's only ingredients? Maybe I'm gonna call in another truck early to get some more food coming in. I'm just fast forwarding right now to see what the workers do, what the chefs do. Will they start cooking up some delicious food for us? Does this buffet not exist anymore? Um, wait, what's going on? Let me see the zones. Um... 
Why can't I zone it? Assign to. Something's not right. I'm going to dezone it all real quick. I mean, I know they're coming over here, but there's no... Where are they getting the food from? Hold on. I don't... I feel like something's not quite right. I'll be honest with you. So... Buffet zone. Right, get this all the way up to here. Kitchen zone. To there. Then assign this kitchen to here. Is that now going to work? We have, we have a chef in there slowly cooking. Only one chef by the looks of it. We probably don't have enough food over there. <laughs> but look at the amount of people coming up to these little buffet section right now. Are you cooking? Are you actually cooking? She's doing... Oh, maybe I just don't have enough ingredients. So raw ingredients, 10. I called another truck early because the other kitchen could be taking all the ingredients. You know what I mean? She's prepping ingredients. I'll give her that. Oh no, she is cooking. She's cooking on her own. Maybe when the chefs are kind of filled up all of these and there's no tasks left, they might bleed over to this area. But it doesn't tell us how many chefs that we would need, does it? Well, if I upped it to 30. Would that change anything? 30 chefs. There's too many cooks in the kitchen, as they say. They're all standing around doing nothing. <laughs> oh, this one chef over here does all the hard work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, we can't. We can't set anything up for the chefs, can we? Like to say, like, you know, only work in this kitchen. Do they just do it themselves? Maybe it's one of those, like, issues where before in the past I just had to reload the game. But I feel like we need a third one of these no matter what anyway. So... All right, if I need to drop one there and there. All right, reverse it behind it. And that's good to go. So we'll wait for them extra workers to get over here. Which they are in there right now. So we, we can now check in double the peeps on both buffet zones. Fif uh, $15 a pop on the buffet. All you can eat right now. Steak. Seafood. Desserts. There's free things. <laughs> um, and the money should just roll him. The money should legit just roll in. But I don't know how I get the chefs to work in the other kitchen. I don't know. Now, if I pause, I wonder if then... Would it work if I merged the kitchen? No, that class has also been a kitchen outside. Okay. Unless I kept that as the kitchen, but also set it up to, you know, if I merge the buffets and then turn that into a bathroom. But like I said, do I still have then too many members of staff? I'll see how it plays out. I'll see how it plays out. If it doesn't work, then I'll merge it all as one. And then my grand idea, obviously, is not going to come into fruition. But on the money side of things, anyway, how do I now view my money here? Um, today, retail is retail classed as cash register. 
is cash register is that clusters the food side of things or cash register here I mean I'm making a fair bit of money on the food side of things aren't I can't moan about that boys Yeah, something's not quite right on this one. Yeah, definitely something not quite right about it. It could be as simple, I just need to reload the game kind of style. But we'll see what happens. Right, down below them, I haven't really done much over here. Look how much money we've got. 3.4 million in the bank. Redonkulous right now. Redonkulous how crazy this is now kicking off. So back into build mode <clears throat> with the flooring situation again. We're gonna bring this all the way up to be matched in line with the the toilets and then the marble flooring going all the way back up as well. Well, to here. Because then we're going to create, well, I say create, do you know what, actually, no, we'll, we'll put it all the way to here. Because this is then we can have a big area invested for our uh, table rooms, which would be pretty nice. And as we get further, a little bit more back, that's when we we'll probably set up the theatre down below. Remember, we got to set up a bingo hall. we got to set up all the sports gambling stuff as well, as well as all the other high stake big ballers. Before we eventually go on to build the freaking hotel on top of this casino. <coughs> As I choke on my own breath. There is so much to get in. So that going across here is 48. All the way down to there is 93. So 48, if I bring this out by 40. Does that give us enough room there to kind of set up our theatre? hopefully so by 40 over on this side oh and i've also got to set up all like the it rooms the the conference rooms and all that kind of stuff too like i said there is so much stuff we've got to do guys so this one contained everything it only contained like a handful of uh game well table stuff anyway uh so we've got the poker We've got the roulette. We've got some blackjack tables right now, which we've got eight of them, eight blackjack tables, eight poker tables. So it all works out pretty well. Over here then, on the old gambling front, boys, we are going to get it. Well, first we're going to get in some cashier cages. Of course we do. Which we'll try and get set up in line one there. And then in line one just there uh baccarat we could do so if i had say one here one there one here one there so if i get eight of these set up down here like that the craps table which we haven't got yet so one, two, oh, let me move them. One there, two there. Three, oh, four. And there we go. Let's move this one into position. Nice, nice, nice. And then we've got the Pow Go. Is that how you pronounce it? Pow Go? I don't know. So one there, one there, one there, one there. Boom and boom. So some various table gambling going on. Uh, free card poker is the next one. 
which if I do this just right as well, so one here, one here, does that feel like it's aligned to there? No, it doesn't. Oh, I know they're, I know they're all off-centered, but I'm trying to figure out the alignments right now. So, say so on the front of that comes the edge of that. The front of that comes the edge of that. Okay, these ones are the ones that are perfectly aligned. See, got there in the end, boys. There we go. So again, it looks a bit all over the place, but all these little gaps and stuff is where I can squeeze in stuff. So I'm hoping I can squeeze a bar in. I still might have to kind of play around with some of the uh, the bits and bobs. So comfort, should I go for the round bar? Should I go, oh, I can actually then do my uh, my original plan. Oh, it's off-centered. It's either that way or that way. I could do, that fits in perfect, this one. All right, place the bar just there in the middle. Which then makes this look completely off-centered. Are we sure that's right? Because looking at it, it doesn't look right. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't. No, it's not right. It's not. These need to go over by one. All right, now it's right. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. So, looking good. It's a simplistic star at the minute. So, then back to the gambling attractions. I still got to squeeze in a few little extra bits and bobs. Like, uh, we're going to get some additional roulette tables in. We just have to. There we go. And then some comfort stuff anyway. Let's get some of these big sofas in. We'll go for the white ones again. So... Or do I go, no, we go for the double-sided ones. What is going on with my placement? Why is that now looking a little bit closer on this side? Or is it just me? 15 to that point. 15 to that. And it is No, it is the same. Weirdly enough, that is the same space and distance. It just looks so completely out to me. It really does. So, one. Two. Three. For some more seating. And then we do need to get, like, um, trash cans and stuff in. So where is... Oh, ooh, ATM machines is what I need, actually. All right, put an ATM either side of the uh, cashier's cage. Uh, trash can bins. Put one either side just there. One there. One there. Snack vendor machines. Well, this is quite an open room. We'll probably have some rooms either side. But this is a big enough kind of area then to do our little theatre room at some point. So let me fast forward anyway. We've got to get all these uh, new kind of gambling tables for employees. Now, somebody said in the comment section about me um, putting a lot of my employees on a schedule. Because obviously we don't have that many customers through the night. I actually don't mind that they're working 24-7. Because of the amount of money that we do have coming in right now, it's not really an issue for us. To be honest with you, that the fact that they are, you know, going through the whole night. So it is what it is. I'll take it. What I do need to do, though, is uh, go back and sort out a lot of this stuff. So bed sheets are going to set to 50. Be at, I'm going to put, I'm going to give the same amount of crates to how many of the objects that we do have. Um, just for the, you know, we've always got something coming in. Well, we've always got them available, which does mean it's going to push my stock levels through the roof. 
I get that. And I'm going to need a bigger stock room. Because it's pretty full right now with the minimum, bare minimum that I do have. So, foundation. What floor am I on? Why can't I do foundation? What's the issue? Well, that's weird, isn't it? Right, they're restocking now anyway. I want to see how far they do get through the delivery. Oh, is that as far? Oh, then no, more deliveries coming. <laughs> There's quite a lot of deliveries coming right now. Right, the workmen are restocking again. Do you know what? I see how far they get through this delivery. There's a lot of workmen. Doing what they can right now to replenish those shelves. But at the end of the day, them deliveries are going to keep coming thick and fast. All right, we're, they're about to fit, fill the shelves. And there's still many, many boxes left. Oh, they actually put them on the floor? I didn't know that. Look, the amount of guests that come for a hotel room and there's no hotel rooms available shows you how much money we're going to make. When I, once I add more in. Uh, right. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. It's getting a little bit too crazy now at hand right now. But we got money coming in the bank like you wouldn't believe. I've just spent a fortune on restocking, which I don't mind. It's all for the greater good. Uh, you are missing all the goods, apparently. So why are you missing all the goods? We have plenty of workmen who can deliver you the goods. Um, show blocked there. Oh, are you actually... Oh! Oh, hold on. They're actually blocked, aren't they? Move that forward. They're blocked ever since I put the bins in. There we go. <laughs> so dumb. So dumb right now. So, free bars set up at the minute. Which ain't too shabby. How is the food court up here doing? Still only one chef running around like crazy. But that's going to be some good money that we're now making over there. It's all progression. And I love it. So now we've got that, that kind of stuff in, we can focus on the bigger tasks at hand. So next episode then, we've got the choice of either building our theatre room, our bingo room, or going down the commercial side. I think I'm going to save the third floor for solely commercial, like all the computer rooms and the conference rooms. Uh, I think next episode we'll build the theatre. We'll at least get that up and running. And then once that's up and running, I know I've done the spacing for the second floor. And then whatever space we've got left over around this bottom floor here and the second floor, we'll build more gambling rooms. The third room will probably... I'll probably set up two bingo halls either side here, maybe. Um, some more gambling tables down here. Obviously, there'll be a hole cut out for when we do the theatre second floor. I need the conference room, the computer rooms, the high... The high stakes rooms we obviously need. Uh, we also need to get set up the um, the sports gambling room. And then once you've got all the levels sorted out for that, then we'll slowly start thinking about then building all the hotel rooms on top of our casino. It's going to take a lot of work. A lot of money. But, guys, we can get it in. We can get it in. And we also got to sort out a better system as well for all of our stock and stuff like that. Because it's a little bit too crazy right now so even though i've been spending a fortune even though i've been spending a fortune today we've made four hundred thousand in income 387 if you you know take the profit or the expenses out previous day day 14 we only made forty-eight thousand. bearing in mind but we did spend a lot of money in building but in income whew, damn 300 000 was on construction alone so we got money, 
We 100% got money coming in. We got to choose to spend it wisely and satisfy the needs of all of our guests. So the, a lot of them are frustrated as, at the minute. Do we know why they're frustrated? Uh, I don't know if we do. A lot of them need sleep. So again, we need more hotel rooms. We need more everything. <laughs> building in this place right now is like building a casino on steroids. And I think on that note, we're going to end it here. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye.